blessed maria sunta an inspiration and challenge maria sunta palota was born in august 1878 in a little village called fos italy she was the ray of sunshine in the family home that she was the eldest of four boys and two girls although asunda's childhood was relatively happy her family lived in great poverty in order to help her family she courageously faced the humblest and hardest work At the age of 12, Asunda received Jesus in the Eucharist for the first time. It was an inexpressible moment of happiness for her. Drawn to give her life entirely to God, Asunda decided to enter the convent, but encountered many obstacles, not least among them her mother's objections. and her lack of dowry but prayer prevailed and at last the door of the convent of the franciscan missionaries of mary at via giusti was opened to receive her to serve god and her neighbor in the humblest and most mortified ways was her motto it enabled her to feel true franciscan joy in 1898 at the end of november asunda met blessed mary of the passion the foundress knowing asunda came from the marches mother mary of the passion said that is the land of saints you must become a saint too Asunda had her watchword in the depth of her heart Asunda was stowing away these simple words as her precious heritage On March 19 1904 together with nine other Franciscan missionaries of Mary Asunda set sail for China Ardently She studied the Chinese language in order to be able to speak of the goodness of God to those around her. To accomplish her daily duties as perfectly as possible seemed to her the best way of working as a true missionary. Ever intimately united with God, she lived day by day the ordinary community life for his honor and glory a serious epidemic of typhus broke out in china and she fell victim to it she bore the suffering with great patience and died at sunset on april 7 1905 being then only 27 years of old People of the place flocked where she lay as a mysterious perfume filled the entire house for three days after her death. Eight years after, when the community was moving to Taiyuanfu, the bishop asked for the body of Sister Asunda to be transferred. They marveled at the fact that the body was incorrupt. then the body remained exposed to the air in the chapel of the cemetery for a month without being affected once again god showed his favor for the little missionary sister who lived for him alone on november 7 1954 sister asunda was beatified by pope pius the 12 The church officially recognized the little Italian girl whose life had been a song of simplicity, purity and love and who is 
indeed the beloved of Christ whom she had served so devotedly her life spread joy to many her loving and tender heart touched many her spirituality made others happy and cheerful her words and deeds defined how the missionary should be she is a blessing for each one of us let us celebrate her